हाय सात्विक अयोध्या हाय रिकनेक्ट हाय आवे दोई गुड गुड सो इज योर एक्लिप्स रनिंग टुडे इज इट वर्किंग नाउ दैट प्रोग्राम इज सो मच रनिंग ऑन माय कोड ओके 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 can you just allow me a moment because i was just looking for a solution okay so let me take the access of your computer okay so i'm making you the presenter and open the eclipse so so you have done okay i didn't give you any assignment yesterday did i i don't, i don't think so yeah. so let's see let it launch why is it so slow i mean does it always happen like this okay let's see it now so okay go to the configuration once again go to the Uh, please uh, scroll this window down a little. I just want to see the path. What is the uh, name of the main class for animal underscore one? That's what. Uh, which program are you trying right now to uh, compile? This one underscore one. The animal underscore one. Yeah. Okay. Please. Uh, uh show me the main show me the main part the main from where the main method starts what is the name of the uh, uh class which is uh, in which the main is created main method is is it dog the dog class yeah okay okay so in the main in the configuration now in the configuration in the main where it says main class just just mention dog just mention dog remove everything in the main class in the configuration and type dog okay now try to run it yes please run it run it now Okay, can you please scroll it down? Okay, now scroll it up, please. Okay, so you 
extending this class and then you have so you have animal underscore one okay okay please scroll it down should be done right okay now go back to the configuration okay just try to run it you have already you have already it is already there just try to run it okay okay so show me the uh, so is it in the default project in the test one default project yeah okay okay so show me the configuration once again So is it in circuit one or is it in default? So there are projects. So I see it, it's in test one. Test one, can you show me the path? The name is test one for what? Okay. So the project is, okay, explore the project. Circuit, just click on browse. You can browse next to the project. Yeah. Okay, now explore it. Explore the socket one. Double click. Okay, click search where it says search in to the main. Yeah. Okay, so I see do you see dog? I see so many of them in the default package. Okay. So okay, can you just run this cat? Select this, select cat. Okay. Now please uh, run it. Okay, go back to the uh, animal dot java. I think it's there. It's the main method. Can so scroll it down. There should be okay. Yeah. So it's working now. Basically, the thing is now go back to the uh, animal underscore one dot java and uh, try to run it. Just try to run it. Yeah. So here it goes. I think it's working now, right? Software? Yeah. Okay, great. So, um, will you be able to make me the presenter now? Uh, Pramod, if you are there, we may need your assistance. Okay, so now um, do one thing. I'm just in the meantime. I'm trying to contact you. So the did you work on the abstract class? Create a, an abstract class, and then we will override that method. Okay. We will override the method in the abstract class. Okay. So create a abstract class.
yeah just select the checkbox where it says abstract abstract the checkbox for abstract it's it's next to the public it's brief in public yeah click finish okay so this is public abstract class okay and okay you should have named it something different okay no problem now define a method in this define a method abstract void eat or anything abstract void should be abstract the method also should be abstract okay just semicolon semicolon yeah now uh, hit enter hit enter and close it close the curly braces close the curly braces okay now hit enter once again hit enter please and uh, another class class abc capital a b c extends extends abstract abstract okay start the curly braces so you are uh, overriding you are inheriting the abstract class features so you have inherited the void eat so mm -hmm. type void eat curly brackets next to the eat curly brackets okay okay um, now uh, write any statement no no not there not there it was fine since this is abstract we will not define it there we will just keep it as it is system dot out dot print ln any message Now create one more method void void drink void drink not here out of this so you have closed this you have to close this and then yeah after the uh, closure Okay, so write uh, any statement here, any statement, anything that you like. Abstract class, anything. I eat apples, anything. Okay, good. Now come to the main part. In the main part, create an object for the class ABC. For the class ABC.
corner. So now a reference it. So D dot whatever you are written, D dot eat, then D dot drink. Yeah, it's a method, so you will, you, it will have the brackets. So, small brackets, small brackets, semicolon at the end of it. This is how you access your methods, right? Then D dot drink. Hit enter D dot drink. Okay. So now run it. Run it and see the output. not there, go to the configuration once again. Remember this is ABC, just, just type ABC, instead of cat, type ABC. Instead of cat, type ABC. Now apply, run. Okay, again the path, the problem is with the path. It's in test one. Yeah, that's the one. Hello world, I ate apples. So hello world, you have implemented the abstract method. Okay. So this is how the abstract methods work. First they are defined in the parent class. Then you can, you can later on, um, define it further, you can extend it further. But abstract methods will not have any definition in the parent class or wherever it is defined. Wherever it is defined, you will not see any definition, any body, body of it. So no curly brackets, nothing, just the semicolon. Okay. Now, we will discuss about interfaces. So abstract methods, abstract classes and interfaces, there are two things. Okay, let me just ask him to give me a moment. So Mod, are you there? Make me the presenter. Yeah, please make me the presenter. Okay. Good. Thank you. So So abstract method, abstract 
classes methods interfaces and interfaces will help you to hide your data okay so what happened in the abstract class you first define them I mean we just declared them let's say declare them without any definition body later on you extend it extend it and define it in case of interfaces you everything works same like you first you first you define them first you declare them and then you define them in case of abstract class you extend them but in case of interfaces you implement them you implement them okay now you may ask how so for an example interface x y z so we will not write class in place in in the place of uh, class we will write interface interface then we have methods void same void b void This is my interface. I'm, I have not done anything here in my interface. Okay. Now, what you can do is later on when you create classes, your classes will be able to. implement them class let's say a b c implements implements in implements x y z void a Interlude. So different classes can let's say class A or let's let it be A B C at the moment. Interlude. This is the letter. Okay. I can use the other method B because I am implementing that interface. The interface is giving you a platform, and you can take out the resources, its methods, and use them. B. Here you will have the main interlim. So public static void. Thing. 
us and uh, uh, ABC object new ABC next is the now obj dot a obj dot b now it, it will work so interface x y z interface X, Y, Z, finish. Okay, I have an interface here where I have few methods. I can implement these methods in any of the classes I create in my environment I can go to animal.java I can go to animal.java and I can say class B implement X X Y Z and not extend yeah okay then I can use a or Brendan I am the Okay, let me do one thing. Let me just create some other class and then we will implement this XYZ or Java. Because there are errors. I don't want this program to be messed up once again. So I'll just say implement interface. See my Okay, this class will implement X, Y, Z. Okay, so this is asking me to use the methods. I have void A and I'll also have to make it abstract. Let me see. Just give me a moment. So I am um, I have created an interface, I want to extend it. And then when I'm trying to extend it, I, I'm, I'm trying to implement it, it is giving errors. Okay. Okay. So, let's 
not make it abstract and let's make this public. Okay. I think I will need to make it abstract. Yeah. So system dot out. I'll explain it to you. Print I am the literary. Similarly, I can access the other methods public B. Public boy B. I am the letter B. Again we get an object. So what is the name of our class? Implement interface OBJ equals new implement interface OBJ dot A EPG dot B. If I run this, Give me a moment, let me fix it. So uh, I'll just explain it to you. Sathya, give me a moment. simple maybe you may feel it's a little complicated I just explain it to you We'll have to see for one of the 
we are explaining this we'll have to close this here That will be error. I'm going to see. OBJ dot C. Yes, Sartik, let me first explain it to you what we have done here. You can hear me? Can you? Sartik? Hmm? Okay. So, first of all, we have created an interface XYZ where we have said XYZ and then we have few methods with no definition. We have just declared them. This is how the interface works. It provides you the platform. Then we, we are using, we are, uh, we are um, implementing those methods in an abstract class. Why we are using them in the abstract class? Because we will not be able to override them if we are not using them, the abstract class not be able to override those methods. That's why we will have to create another class which will which will not be abstract and then that class will help you to override these methods. Then that class will help you help us to override these methods. So this is what we have done abstract class is here and then we have a simple class which is extending that abstract class which we discussed in the previous topic right we are extending it here and then we are accessing all the methods to the object of outer class which is not abstract okay i'll have to Uh, run configuration and it's outer class right so I am the letter A letter B letter C and I am the outer class Uh, Satvik, I want you to ask me questions so that you'll, uh, because I will give you, uh, you know, some sort of homework on the interfaces. I'll explain it to you first, then I'll give you the homework. But I want you to understand it. Can you please ask me a few questions if you have any doubt? Are you create the other class again? Okay, interface is a platform which will help you to override, which will which will help you to define few methods which can be further defined by inheriting them in some other classes. Okay, so the interface will just help you to define the methods and uh, so it will work like some sort of factory where you have the tools, and you have created the tools, but the you know, uh, the those tools will function in some other classes. 
Okay, so that's a kind of factory for the metals. Okay, then what we are doing here, we are in order to use these methods, in order to override them, override these methods, we need to create an abstract class. Okay, so we created an abstract class, implement interface. And then we are implementing all those methods here. Okay, but now we need to access them. We want to access them. You must have noticed in our previous, uh, when we discuss about abstract class, Whenever we we use the abstract class, we use another class to extend the features of that abstract class. In order to extend those features, we need another class. So we find here another class that is outer class, which will extend the features of this abstract class. Once we do that, we will be able to create objects for our outer class, which is not abstract and then we can access all the methods of the interface. Any other question? If you have uh, you know, the slightest of the slightest doubt, you can please ask me. I will encourage you to ask me so that the topic will be clear. Okay. Okay, let's say we have so let's say we have an interface animal. It has double L or maybe triple L. Why? Because we have already created so many classes and all. So we have animal with double L. That's an interface and it has few methods. So dogs has a void bark. Dogs will bark. It has void Mew, cats will mew, okay. and lions will roar. This is our interface. Now we want this piece to be used in in various classes. So in the dog class I will use bark. In the cat class I will use mew. In the lion class I will use road. So first of all in order to use these methods what will I need to do? I will need to first of all extend them. I will create an abstract class. Abstract class use interfaces. Okay. I will define all of these here. I will define all of these here. Whenever you have any doubt, any question on this, let me know. Void bar. Dogs, dogs, bark. Okay. I'll go to the other method, new. I will say that new. Void row, void 
นั้นรู้ we have not not used these uh, methods till now we have just defined them is it clear so far Sathvik, is it clear so far? I cannot hear. You. Is it clear? Is it clear, Sathvik? Yeah. Okay, so far is it clear? I'm just asking. Yes. Okay. Great. So now, once we have defined them, we can inherit. We can inherit these methods in various classes. So, the classes can be class, cat, double T, because we have already. I'm not sure. If we have already created extends. Use. Interfaces, okay. and it will have one more method void. Void if Okay. Yeah, after that, it will have the main method. Closing it here. What I have done here, I have just used one of the. I am just using one of the. If I go ahead and create it, I have used one of the methods. That's mail. Still, I need to use the rest of the two methods. So I'll have to create two more classes. Which will have the main method as well, and they will use the dog will use bark, the lion will use roar. Is it making sense? Yes, it is. Okay. So interface. The name and In a class, this is that.
England. Sorry. Oh, did you really slow the power? I didn't see the end of class two and more. Okay, will you please be, uh, use the headset? I think you are on the speaker too. Yes, tell me, Satvik. Please ask. Hello? If you, I don't think you attended the cat T T class to uh, implement in interface class. I just uh, did it because cat T T because I thought I may have created a cat. I'm not sure. Right? So that is why I created CATT. I did not hear you properly, but I assume you are asking why I created CATT. Is it your question? Satvik? Okay. Either the, the, the class use interfaces. Can you please type it? Type in the chat, please. Your voice is not clear. I can't open up my chat window. You don't see it or are you not able to open it? I don't see it. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let me help you with that. Hi. Can you see it now? Can you see how? No. Okay, now your voice is clear. I don't know how. Can you please explain what is the uh, question? So, in the beginning, you, so that class that you have of using the voids to match the methods in? Void? So, you saying that the cat Class it sends user uh, use interfaces, right? Right. So this use interfaces uh extend implement interface. No, I mean animal. Uh, use interfaces is the abstract class which has the definition of all the interface methods. The bath, mu, and roar are the methods of interface, animal. So, doesn't, right. the use in, doesn't the use interface have to extend animal? Actually, yeah, so it cannot extend animal. Why? Because we need to implement. We need to yeah, 
implement, implement the interfaces like what was that uh, animal implements animal it will implement I implement animal it will implement the animal here and this should be public so we have implemented okay. and then we are using them here in our other class in the respective classes so cat is using cat is using mu and other two will use dogs will use bath and cats will uh, the lions will use road the methods so what I am asking you so you also need to create animal interface and then an abstract class and implement all these methods then you need to create cat dog and uh, lion classes to use all these methods in the respective classes can you do that that's the homework for tomorrow you got yes. uh, I mean, yeah. you got the question yeah. no okay you no, you are not audible. I don't know how. So, so this is the homework for uh, tomorrow. Let's uh, try to implement, create interface, and then classes, and try to implement the those methods. And then we will see. I'm just pasting this code in the chat. Maybe it will help you. Okay, you have the code in the chat. So we'll have to fix if there are few errors and implement the other two methods as well. As I have implemented the new. Okay, Satvik. Can you try sending it? Instead of sending it just to me, can you try sending it to everyone? I, I sent it to you. I, I can't see it. My chat window is building up. Okay, let me let me help you. Just give me one moment. I'm making you the presenter. I just need to see why you are facing this problem. So, allow me to show you a screen. You see your screen. You need to click show my screen. Do you see it now? No. Do you see the go to meeting icon anywhere? Can you please minimize? What? Minimize the, minimize the eclipse. Have you minimized the eclipse? Yeah. Okay, I still see the eclipse. 
So I think the screen is stuck or something. There is a GoTo meeting icon. Can you see the GoTo meeting icon next to the Chrome? Next to the Chrome, there is an icon. Click on that. Okay, okay that's the easy. Take it easy. Okay, so just right click on that gently. Right click. Now select go to meeting. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. There is a window. Do you have two screens or one screen? Okay. Okay. Uh, go to the system tray. The system tray. Can you please go to the system tray where you see your uh, network icon, speaker icon, and all volume icon. So there is a system tray. There is a drop. So you need to click on the drop down. Drop up, actually. When you click on, a window will open. It is next to the firewall icon. The battery, the firewall, and then there is a drop down. Not, that's the volume. That's the volume. Yeah, this one. Uh, okay, just hold on. Okay, I don't see it here. I don't know why you are not able to see it. I can okay, well uh, you need to just right click on the go to meeting icon once again right click okay just left click just once Okay, I think it's stuck. Something is wrong with this. So you need to create an interface. Just create it and try to, you know, you must have the recording. So try to implement those methods or create any other interface, implement its methods in some other classes. And I just want to see that you got the crux. You got how this works. Okay, then we will meet tomorrow. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.